Hello again. Hello again and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is fantastic having you here today. Group break in front of us. We have Bowman, retail display box. We also have a leaf flash box, which is going to contain six, count them, six autographs. Should be a great time. Before we get to that, we have a chase drawing, the actual breaking of the packs. I'm planning on being at 4 p.m. So let me get to the chase drawings first. Uh, first things first, here is our list. I have it on the computer as well, um, but I can't really access the computer very well through this. So uh, RJ Collect Sets has the Yankees, the Rockies, the Braves, and the Phillies. Uh, Paco has the Padres and the Tigers. Shaw Racing Collects has the Blue Jays, the Red Sox, the Dodgers, Nationals, Orioles, and Indians. The uh, a bus driver has Pirates and the Twins. N.W. Stang has the Royals and the Brewers. Uh, Lance W. has the Mets and the Marlins. And Julie F. has the Cardinals. That means teams are defaulting that are not been sold. Uh, not sold teams are the Rangers, the White Sox, the Rays, the A's, Astros, Giants, Reds, Diamondbacks, and Angels. Those are all defaulting back to me. We had just, just enough spots sold to do two chase winners. First, I want to say Lillis Rips is here. Thank you so much. For being here and for your support, Lance Wilson, also known as something old and something new, Car Rips, is here. Things are going well. Julie is also here. I think you're the only three here um, at the moment, but I'm sure other people will be filing in. As you can see, I got my handy-dandy tablet, which I'm going to need to look up players in case uh, I don't happen to know uh, the teams there. By the way, with the Leaf Flash, I know I'm yelling, but with Leaf Flash, it is, this is from 2019, but in 2021, it is the team that the player is currently with. So if they're with a major league team, it's whatever team they're major league team with. If they're with a minor league affiliate, it's whatever uh, minor league affiliate team they are with. I don't know that how many of those players have changed teams in the last two years, but I just, we're just I'm going to look it up on uh, on the internet and whatever team it says, like if it says Oakland A's or Padres, then that's who's getting that card. Okay, oddball cards. Thanks for joining. I do want to give a shout out uh, to people who bought into the break. RJ collects sets has a channel. Go check him out. Shaw Racing Collects has a channel. Go check him out as well. N.W. Stang also has a channel. Go check him out. And then Something Old and Something New, Card Rips has a channel. Uh, go check him out. Julie, I do not believe that you have a channel. Lillis has a channel. Lillis Rips, go subscribe to him. Oddball Cards has a channel as well. As for the chase drawing, this is how it works. I'm going to hit the randomize button here five times. Name it in the number one slot will be the top chase winner. Name any number two slot will be uh, winner number two. Uh, let me go through all of uh, everyone so you know uh, exactly what's going on. Julie, you do have a channel. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Go subscribe to Julie. It's hard to tell because uh, usually when people have a channel, they change the logo from just the, uh, the default. But I, I'm not, I don't think I'm subscribed. Let me go check. Let me go check that afterwards, and, uh, and I'll subscribe to you if I have not. Okay. So as you can see, maybe you can't see that well, but uh, RJ, 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 Paco, Paco, Shaw, 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 Shaw. So six Shaws. Uh, we have bus driver, bus driver, NW Stang, NW Stang, Lance, Lance, Nathan R. Why don't I have Nathan R on the list here? Goodness gracious. That's why. That's why we check these things. Uh, Nathan R has the, um, the Mariners. So there you go. I don't want to stick it, but Nathan, uh, RJ bought another spot, and then Julie. So there you go. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, here's what's going to happen in Baskins. So everyone's in, accounted for. Hit the randomized button five times. End of the fifth time, name in the number one slot gets the top prize. Name in the number two slot gets prize number two. Let's do it. Randomize once. In case you're wondering, I have uh, fat fingers, and these buttons are really small. But this is two. This is three. This is four. All right, and lucky number five. Here we go. So, Shaw Racing Collects is the number one winner, and then Nathan R is the number two winner. So let me write that down. Shaw, and then Nathan. Uh, as always, it's awesome with the uh, Chase drawings um, to hit twenty because then I can do two. Uh, I know they're a bonus. I know that you guys look forward to them, and I will uh, try to continue to do them. Uh, for forever if I can. Um, just like a quick clerical note, next weekend is Memorial Day weekend, and so I uh, 
I will not be running any breaks. Um, I, I have a card show that I'm actually, uh, I have a card show that I haven't heard back from the person, but I apparently have a reserve spot and I hope so. Cause I'm planning on selling, you know, 99% of the cards that I own. So I'm really hoping for that. But anyway, um, I will say at the end of this, if you're interested in Bowman and leaf and stuff like that, um, immediately after I go off air, check my channel 10 to 15 minutes later, because there will probably be something that you might like. So here we go. Here is Leaf Flash. There are, we're three minutes early, but I'm sure people won't pay, like care that much, right? Anyway, if I start. Anyway, but I just do want to say a shout out to Julie, to Nathan, to Shaw, to Lance, to Lilith Rips, to Paco, to Oddball Cards, and I'm sure the other ones will show up when they can. Okay, so there's six autographs in this box. It is from 2019. Wander Franco is on the box. Gavin Lux is on the box. Um, I've seen these open in the past before. Uh, sometimes there's a whole bunch of nobodies and sometimes there's like insane hits. Uh, obviously I bought the box hoping that there would be insane hits. If you guys do like this, this whole guaranteed auto leaf flash kind of thing, let me know because I can go on the hunt for more leaf flash. If you guys are interested in that kind of thing, if you're not interested, then also let me know. Feel free in the, in the comments. RJ is here. Uh, RJ got a monster hit yesterday in another break. Uh, Harry's House of Hits ran a break. If you haven't checked out Harry's House of Hits, go check them out. He uh, he bought in. He made a trade to get his NL East, and then he got a Baum out of 25, and then he said, I better pull something better. So the pressure's on. Anyway, I do want to say thank you to everyone who bought into the break. I do appreciate it very much. I'm rooting for each and every one of you because you guys paid hard-earned money. Or maybe it wasn't hard-earned. Maybe it was easy-earned. It doesn't matter how, how you earn the money as long as it wasn't illegally. Uh, but anyway, you earn the money and I want I want you guys to get value. Um, anyway, as I always like to say, you are one pack away from greatness and I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull some one of one. Can you imagine if I bought this box and we, we pull one one out of it? This is probably not the best, uh, probably not the best instrument for opening. You know what? I'm gonna have to get like a regular knife. Goodness gracious, be prepared, man. Be prepared. In my defense, I do not open boxes that often that are tightly uh, tightly sealed like that. So let's get the covering off and let's see. I mean, we're going to pull like a Bobby Witt Jr. or Wander or a Dominguez or a Lux. Um, just so you know, uh, I have my tablet here. So peep, uh, it's the team that the player is currently with. And then if I haven't figured out who that team is, if I've never heard of them, then we will do the I look it up on the internet thing, and then it'll pop out whatever the affiliate team is. God, the seal is a pain in the butt. Goodness gracious. Hold on. There we go. Finally got the seal off. Goodness. All right. Are you going to slide off for me? Are you going to slide off for me? Please. The boom is a lot easier. As you can see, just right on the top, they're already, um, they're already top loaded, like right out of the box. So... First card out of the box is a Reese Hines. Unfortunately, I don't know off the top of my head what team. So let's type in Reese Hines and see what the old internet tells us. Uh, Reese Hines. All right. So it says here, Reese Hines is a Reds prospect. So that one is going to the Reds. Let me write that down so I'll look it up later. Reese Hines. I know it's a little awkward. When we get to Bowman, it's a lot easier because I'm not going to have to look up where people are. But first card is Reese Hines going to the... Ooh, we got something We got something super cool behind this. By the way, this is numbered out of 50. Reese Hines for the Reds. Second card is an Ethan Hearn, and it is a parallel. But let me look up who... Uh, if anyone knows these off the top, I have to look them up anyway because to be official. Um, Ethan um, Hearn. Says here, M I L B. All right, he plays for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans, which is an affiliate of the Chicago Cubs. Ethan Hearn is a Cub. I will show you on the back. I just have to. It's really awkward at the moment trying to do a. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you the team on the back because this is when they were drafted, and so. Uh, but let me pull it out right now. Ethan Hearn, 
It is numbered, holy smokes, Ethan Hearn numbered five out of five. In case you're wondering, it says, you have received an autograph card from Leaf Trading. On the front of the card is an authentic autograph of Ethan Hearn. The authenticity of this autograph is guaranteed by Leaf Trading Cards. We hope you enjoy this piece of history. And then in tiny, tiny letters, it says five of five. Five of five of Ethan Hearn. So that is for the Kabaruskis. Next one, unfortunately, I look. Again, I hope we get some some people that I've heard of, like Bobby Witt Jr. or like Jason Dominguez or something. Um, just something. I mean, I'll put it this way. I did not buy this box and spend a bunch of money on this box. Um, Matthew Lugo, I want to say Tigers, but I'm not sure. Let me look. Matthew. I'm familiar with that name. I just can't figure out why I'm familiar with it. Matthew Lugo. I'm sorry for the awkwardness at this. Um, but I'm an awkward guy. Yeah, Nathan got to it before I did on that one. Uh, just for the official keeping track, Matthew Lugo, and it says uh, Boston Red Sox relationship nephew of Carlos Beltran. There you go. So Matthew Lugo for the Red Sox. I hope. Let's hope that the other three autographs uh, are all um, a lot easier to figure out. Let's look at the numbering on the back of this. Uh, there is no numbering. It's just a base autograph of Matthew Lugo. Next up, we have a Tommy Henry. Uh, you have to look that one up again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this better not be one of those boxes where where I haven't heard of all these people. The other the other two, the other two better be awesome. It better be two. Yeah, there is a Dewell Lugo for the Tigers. Maybe that's what I was thinking. So Tommy Henry is. Uh, I know there are people out there who are like really good at prospects and they just tell you off the top of their head, like who all these people are with, but I am not that good. So Tommy Henry assigned to the Visalia Rawhide. He's an Amarillo sod poodle. And um, did you do here we go? Arizona Diamondbacks, Arizona Diamondbacks for uh, Tommy Henry. Arizona Diamondbacks. Henry D-backs. All right, let's 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 root right now. Let's root right now for the other two autographs to be amazing. In case you're wondering, by the way, this one is numbered 11 out of 50. 11 out of 50. Next up, Michael Taglia. All right, we better get one one really good autograph. Otherwise, this is going to be a really terrible box. We do have Bowman still. So Bowman's not going to let us down because Bowman refuses to let people down. But Michael Toglia, anyone? Um, it, yeah, the team is called the Sod Poodles. That is legitimately the name of the team. By the way, if you've never paid attention to minor league teams, they have some awesome names. There's a team that's called Biscuits. I, don't, I forgot what, uh, what affiliate the Biscuits are. But um, so Toglia, you got it. Nathan's got it. He, you're a lot quicker on the internet than I am. So that is with the Rockies. Let me look up. Uh, someone definitely has the Rockies. I, I, uh, I got it written down here. I'm just totally, totally. Uh, RJ has the Rockies. So congratulations, RJ. That is not numbered. Last one is Josh Jung. So we did not get a uh, we did not get a monster box, unfortunately. Um, six autographs. So we didn't get a, we didn't get pull a single monster out of that. That is disappointing. I gotta say. Ah, Josh Jung. I've heard that name before, too. Ooh, that one is a Texas. It says Josh Jung is Texas Rangers. You guys beat me to it, but uh, yeah. It says Josh Jung, Texas Rangers. So I don't need that tablet anymore. Um, no need for that tablet. Rangers, write it down so I don't have to look it up later. Let's see. It's got a weird parallel color. And it is numbered 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, um, some of these are cool and stuff like that, but, I, you know, you buy it for, like, a Bobby Witt or a Wander Franco I mean, or a Gavin Lux. That's why I bought it. But, you know, I can always buy more in the future. Let me go through them again. We have a Josh Chung, numbered out of 10. Toglia, not numbered. A Tommy Henry, that one is numbered out of 50. Matthew Lugo, uh, a Ethan Hearn, numbered out of five. Numbered out of five, man. Uh People better hope, I better hope, not better, whoever better hope that Ethan Hearn pans out because that's out of five autograph and then a re-signs. So those are the six autographs. And then we're going to get to the Bowman. So obviously we're looking for a, like there's a, this is a retail display box. And so 
you are not guaranteed an autograph in this box. But we are, I've seen them pulled, and I'm hoping. I am super, super hoping. I'm rooting for everyone. I'm going to say it again. One pack away from greatness. Uh, and I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull like a one one Like, why not? Um, one of one. All right. Anyway, I do want to give the roll call again. Nathan's here. RJ is here. NW is here. Shaw Racing Collects is here. Paco is here. Mike's Baseball Card Review is here. Styx G is also here. Um, I, don't, I don't know if Lilith is still here. Lilith Rips, that is. Um, but like I said, I want to give a shout out. Lance, Mike, I don't know if Lance is still here. But uh, yeah, most of those people have a channel. There's 11 people on here at the moment. Uh, I imagine you guys are all subscribed to my channel. I hope you are. If you are not, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to go subscribe to your fellow tubers, that would be fantastic. I'm sure they would appreciate it. I'm sure that, uh, well, first of all, no one's going to turn down a subscription because you're not allowed to turn one down. Um, but I'm sure they would very much appreciate it. So here we go. Good luck to everyone. And I, as I always like to say, um, you enter the break. I want to make sure that you guys get as much value as uh, as possible. So I'll do it again. One pack away from greatness. And uh, there's 12 cards per pack. There's 24 packs. So I, I'm not going to do the rough math on that. But that's like, um, what is that, 300 cards-ish? Uh, I would do the odds, but let's be honest. They're, they're in like two-point font. I mean, I think with these 12-card packs, you get two chrome. If you don't get an insert, but if you get an insert, you get three chrome, is what I've been generally finding. So we shall see. Uh, we're also looking for retail exclusive green parallels. We're looking for Austin Martin. We're looking for Blaze Jordan. We're looking for Sabato, I believe. Uh, a bunch of other people. So we got a Garrett Cole. We have an Austin Meadows. Bubik for the uh, Kansas City Barbecue Sauce Royals. Barbecue Sauce Royals. BBQ for the win. I'll sleep it up. Um, I know that the regular Bowman rookies are not worth as much money uh, as a regular flagship rookie. There's a Tyler Stevenson for the Cincinnati Reds. I know. I have an aggressive sleeving uh, routine. Anderson Tejada with the throwback Rangers uniform. Uh, we have a Joey Bart for the Giants. So a whole bunch of rookies in this first pack. Then we have a talent pipeline of the St. Louis Cardinals. Anyway, these have a, a nice cool shine to them. Let me sleeve that bad boy up. Uh, I will be sleeving up pretty much all the rookies um, and all the chrome, even if it's not like a first chrome. Miguel Amaya for the Cubbies. For the Cubberuskis. And then we got a chrome of Forrest Whitley. Man, I've noticed, uh, obviously, there's a lot fewer. I mean, there's far fewer... Um, first Bowman's in this set because they threw a bunch of them into draft. But man, when you get a first Bowman Chrome, you almost feel like it's a victory in itself. There's a Helio Ramos and Austin Wells and Ed Howard. So honestly, nothing crazy in the first pack. Um, tweet, tweet. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy in the first pack. But um, let's see. Here. Appreciate you, RJ. Uh, no love for pay. No problem, RJ. We have all that. I think we get $20 with the sleeves in this break. Ah! <laughs> I'm liberal with the sleeves. Uh, I'm a little stingy with the top loaders because I can buy bulk sleeves and I mean you could buy bulk top loaders, but let's be honest. Top loaders are uh, they're not easy to come by, man. They they I mean, well they're easy to come by if you're willing to pay more money for them. I'll put that. You Darvish. There's a Tarek Scooble. I was saying in a, a recording that has not been released yet. It would be cool if uh, Scooble threw a screwball, because then you could say Scooble with the screwball. Scooble with the screwball. There's a anyway. I know. I'm trying to come up with new stuff. There's a Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. Uh, maybe he'll be in Series 2 because he wasn't in Series 1, but if he's not in Series 2, maybe he'll be an update. Because um, people have been telling me that if they're in uh, a Bowman rookie, but they haven't been in flagship yet, then be on the lookout. There's an Ian Anderson for the Braves. Oh, we're getting we're getting the whole collection of rookies now. Got a Madrigal for the White Sox. I don't know. I did that in a Boston accent, even though it's Chicago. Chicago. Chicago White Sox. Anyway, that's, that's terrible. That's filthy. Um, <laughs> we have a talent pipeline, and this time it's going to be the Houston Astros. Two pitchers. We had a Frutus Nova, a Tyler Ivy, and a Forrest Whitley. And then uh, Chrome Ruski is going to be a Simeon Woods Richardson. Like I said, when you get the uh, insert card, you get three Chrome, it looks like, in a pack. And if you just get the two Chromes, then it's no insert. Ronnie Mauricio. 
Chrome. How about a first Bowman Chrome, huh? There's a Daniel Lynch for the uh, Royals. I'm not going to say the barbecue. Yeah, you know what? I, I kind of buy no Oh, there's a. Never mind. <laughs> Messing around. There's a first paper of uh, Jared Kelly. Let me sleeve that bad boy up. And then a first paper of Junior Severino. In case you're wondering, for the Minnesota Twins, uh, signed Braves as a free agent in 2016. Anyway, we got two first Bowman's that time, but they were both paper. Um, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Um, sleeve supplier. Yeah, we don't need to, but sleeves. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, spacer. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm never sure with a spacer if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, never sure. I guess we'll find out in a minute. There's a Nate Pearson. For the Blue Jays. Anyway, expand my bird calling. And there's your uh, your one of one uh, spacer. I think I moved everything. I moved it the wrong way. There we go. Uh, Bogarts, Gold, Schmidarewski. There's a Josh Bell. Hey, Mookie Betts. Hey, Bregman. And then we have a Marco Luciano for the San Francisco Giants. I pulled one of these cards before, and I thought it was like a weird color parallel. Um, but it was not, it was not a color parallel. It was just, that's just how they are. We have a Torkelson. If that was, uh, that, this was a draft, that would be like a monster card because he had his first in, um, in draft, but I'm not sure what this is going for. Maybe, I don't know, maybe five or 10 bucks. Who knows? You guys can let me know what it goes for. Um, one of one spacer. I could just write one of one on it. Logan Gilbert for the Seattle Mariners. So Nathan, there's a Chrome for you. At least it's not a first, but it's a Chrome. Here's a Trent Devo first uh, paper for the Angels. Trent Devo, Nick Gonzalez, and then uh, Carson Tucker. So I guess that spacer was there to, to space us out. Torkelson, Paco, you know what? A little behind the scenes action. Paco switched. He had the Angels, and then he switched to the Tigers instead. And uh, he got that Torkelson. So uh, I bet you he's excited about that. I think he is excited because he just said yes. So, yeah, you got a Torkelson coming your way. Here's a Garrett Crochet. He was not in Series 1, so I imagine he'll probably be in Series 2 or Update. Do you think he does uh, knitting and other... No, never mind. Do oh, you think he's heard that one before? Wouldn't it be funny if he did crochet in the dugout or in the... If he's a relief pitcher, if he did it in the, uh, in the you know, the bullpen. Luis Garcia, he played a couple of games this year when uh, half of my team... I say my team. I don't own him. If I owned him, I would be rich. Um, anyway, played a couple of games. I don't know if he's ready. For the bigs at a full level. Sixto Sanchez. We have a uh, top 100 scouts. And this time it's a Luis Robert. Who people were super jazzed about. And then he got injured. Ooh, there's a Bobby Wood Jr. For uh, N.W. Stang. Who took the old uh, barbecue sauce Royals. Not uh, not his first. Because that was last year. Uh, is it just me? Or does uh, Bobby Wood Jr. look like he's about 10 years old? Um, he is officially, by the way, 2000. So he's going to be turning, he's 20 right now, and he's going to be turning 21 uh, next month. But uh, he does not look like he's 20, I got to be honest. He does not look like it. Was that Capusano for Padres? Let me take a look for you. Uh, let me go back and check it. Did we get a Capusano? Sixto, Garcia, Crochet, DeVoe. No, I don't think we've gotten one yet. There was a Machado. There's a, we pulled this Machado here. Um, here's a Dahlquist, Max Meyer, Yolbert Sanchez for the Chicago White Sox. There's also another one, a Cespedes. I think it's uh, Yonis, 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 uh, however you pronounce the name. And another spacer in there. Um, a Cespedes that people like. Don't worry, there will be, um, there will, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Camposano because the uh, base set, I think it's only 100 cards and there's a whole bunch of prospect cards. But I, have a, I, I imagine that will pull at least one, maybe multiple. I might have even put one in the guarantee pack. Don't quote me on that. Um, all right. There's a Jose Abreu. There's a Tatis, just a regular base Tatis. There's the back of the Bowman card, by the way, if you've never seen him. There's a Rendon. Give that guy a crown. There's a Mount Castle. Give him a crown. I got to say, I know we're into Bowman, but I'm really disappointed in that leaf, that leaf box. I mean, that was not super cheap, but uh, uh, maybe next time. Maybe I'll give it a go next time, and maybe there there will be uh... anyway. Braylon Marquez. Let's just hope for our sakes that um... 
that Bowman delivers. Brandon Marquez, there's a Shohei who's been playing out of his mind, or maybe he's been playing in his mind. Cody Host, uh, I believe it's Host, Jose maybe, but I think it's Host, for the uh, LA Dodgers. I've been, I feel like there's been five or six Cody Host Bowman cards. There's a Vidal Bruhan for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's it. Uh, let's see. Uh, as you can tell, as you can tell, I've been sleeping up a lot. There's a Riley Green prospect, Kate Cavalli, and Emerson Hancock. I do stop at sleeving up just like regular base that are not rookies or firsts. I do, I do draw the line somewhere because it's got to be drawn. Otherwise, I'm sleeving up 400 cards. Jordan Alvarez, Degrom, Clevenger, who's Done for the year. There's a Chapman. Baez, what? No rookies this pack? No rookies this pack. Whit Merrifield. There's a Joe Adele. There we go. The universe listened and said, here, you get to take a Joe Adele and shut up. Joe Adele. Is he going to be? I don't even, I haven't told, I haven't figured out. He's still in the minors, right? Um, Matt Manning for the Detroit Tigers. There's a Chrome. They look cool, by the way, these Chrome Aruskis. Hunter Green. Be nice if we got a numbered card. Um, I mean, it, we nice if we, got, if we got an autograph too, but it'd be nice if we got a one on one. It would be nice. How many times do I need to say it would be nice? The day you sleep a spacer is the day we worry. If I draw on the spacer and then write run one of one, don't make me draw on it. I'll draw it. I'll draw a dude playing baseball. Ooh, we got. Oh, we got something. We got something. You know what? Let's just skip to the end and get to it. It is a Kevin Alcantara green. Numbered out of 399. And it's a first. It's a first Bowman paper out of 399 for the New York Yankees. Let me uh, top load that bad boy immediately because that is the uh, biggest private card we have so far. In the top loader, you go in case you're wondering. He was signed as the Yankees as a free agent in 2018. Uh, 2019, he hit for uh, 260 average. There you go. There you go. First paper out of 399 and the Yankees. Uh, RJ collect sets has the Yankees in this. Um, um, anyway, there you go. There's a Blackman and an Anderson. A Bryce Harper. Yadi Molina. Francisco Lindor. JD Martinez. We got an insert here and it's going to be a Julio Rodriguez chrome. Insert, not really sure what that goes for, but uh, they are cool. What is, it, is it 91 or 92? I think it was 91. But uh, Nathan has the uh, Mariner. So there's that. There's a Rushman. Um, is it Rushman or Rushman? I guess when the announcers start, start uh, pronouncing it. But there's an Adley. He was the uh, first overall pick in 2019. Here's a Leover Pagero for the Pirates. Arr! Aren't you glad you got drafted by the Pirates? Actually, never mind. He signed as a free agent through the Diamondbacks and then made his way to the Pirates. Here's a first paper. Jose Tana. Here's a hit attainable with Tana. And then a first paper of Christopher Morel for the uh, Kabaruskis, signed as a free agent in 2015. Man, he's been, uh, he's been with the organization for six years. Um, there we go. That's right, guys. You got a feel about which teams are hot. RJ, RJ's got the feel, man. He does. Lance, Lance is also. Uh, there's a couple of people who buy into my breaks that are regulars, and some of them just kind of like bounce around. Lance has had a good job just picking a bunch of random stuff and getting lucky. RJ has also bounced around and gotten lucky. I'm not sure what that Alcantara goes for. Isn't? I mean, you guys can look it up. I mean, maybe I have no idea. There's a key Brian Hayes. I can't look it up at the moment because I'm in the middle of opening cards, but you feel free to look it up and let me know. Spencer Howard, rookie card. I don't know if that beats your bound to 25. It probably doesn't, but um, it's not a competition. It's not a competition. Joey Votto. Uh, Keston Hira, is he going to be in the minors or is he? There's a buster. I'm sure Swing Away is going to watch this and say, sleeve up your busters. There's a regular bound. Rookie of the year favorite. He's a rookie of the year favorite. And he's an Alec Baum. And he's Chrome. He's Chrome. I don't know if you got that one already. RJ, I'm not sure. Uh, Austin Wells for, oh, look at that. Double Yankees. 
Austin Wells Chrome. And then we got first Bowman Chrome of Antonio Gomez. First Bowman Chrome, Antonio Gomez. He signed with the Yankees as a free agent in 2018. But there you go. So, man, a whole bunch of uh, Yankee action going on. Brandon Harsh, uh, Perdomo. And here we go. Adinso Reyes. I pulled, I think, his, him. Um, I think he's pulled this card like three or four times previously. And every single time I pronounced it Adinson or something. But it's Adinso, as it turns out. Arjun is doing well. But you know what? Other people have teams too. So let's get them some. Let's get them some. NW's got a team. And Nathan's got a team. And Shaw has a lot of teams. A um, whole bunch. Is that, oh, every time I see a futurist insert when I open the pack, it's only fifteen to twenty dollars out of three ninety nine. It's only it's only worth twenty bucks. Jesus, sorry, I don't know why I said that, but I was just like, what? I thought I thought it'd be a lot more than twenty dollars. Twenty twenty. Well, I guess if he makes it to the big club, it'll be worth a lot more at some point. Here's an Evan White. Here's you know what? I, I got to move the stack here because it's gonna topple over probably. Uh, there's a Leody Tavares, a Jazz Chisholm, who uh who uh, was playing well, apparently, and then he got injured. Like, seems like tons of people got injured. Like, more than usual. All right, there's that. Jazz Chisholm, a KCI I surmise that's a good pull. Let's see what we got. One of the Yankees, but have to have an empire and sleep during the night. Yeah, Nathan, I, I always wondered if you'd work the overnight, if you get home from work and then go to sleep, or if you stay up for a couple hours and then sleep. Debbie Garcia. Um, but like I said... You guys stick around. I know I'm plugging something in the future, but if you guys like breaks and stuff like that, after this video recording is over, uh, be on the lookout of my channel in the next 10 or 15 minutes after. Max Meyer for the, I'm not going to tell you why, but you, you're going to want to be on the lookout. Jonathan India, he's playing well. Um, I think people have said that he might have a rookie card either in Series 2 or Update, but there's a Jonathan India Chrome. A Bobby Miller for the uh, Dodgers. I know I have to name off the teams because you guys can read, I man. But uh, there we go. There's a Jason Dominguez, which if it was last year, it would have been huge. But there's just Jason Dominguez running the bases, just casually running the bases. Signed as a free agent in 2019. Here's an Antonio Gomez first paper. Man, the Yankees are just like cleaning up at the moment. But you never know. We might get an autograph and it might be amazing. Grayson Rodriguez, just a regular. You sleep randomly. Okay. Oh, I figured, I wondered if you had a set schedule. I used to work 6 p.m. to 2.30, and then I would go immediately to sleep at 2.30 and then sleep till about 10 and uh, and be miserable because, you know, it's an unnatural it's an unnatural time. Anyway, no one cares. No one asked, and no one cares. Um, Shaw, you finally got a chrome. Well, you know what? If we get that Austin Martin chrome for you. Um, Garrett Cole, Austin Meadows. Here's a Chris Bubik. Man, the Royals sure have a lot of rookies, man. In Series 1, I think they have four rookies. They have a Bubik, they have a Singer, an Olivares, and then, uh, what is it, Nick Keith or something like that? I believe. Tyler Stevenson. There are some teams in Series 1 that uh, have zero rookies, and I wonder if they're going to have any in the entire Series 2 or Update. There might be seem like, uh, I don't know, are the Cubs going to have a rookie in Series 2 or Update, or are the Cubs just going to go the whole year without having anyone? Uh, to be fair, the Nationals went through 2020 without having a rookie card in any of the three series. But anyway, there's an Anderson Tata. Here's Joey Bart for the Giants. Here's a Heston Kjerstad. That's another name I have trouble pronouncing. Jesus, what is he like? Is he four years old? How many? Like, he looks super young. Oh, sorry, I put that too close. He looks so young. Does it say how old he is? Uh, he's six foot three, though. Anyway, baby face. There you go. Congratulations to the Orioles. You get a futurist. Um, I mean, it's just an insert, but still. Uh, there's a Helio to Ramos. Maybe it's, maybe they pronounce it wrong. Whatever. I'm, I butcher names. It's a thing. Nick Gonzalez. It's a thing. Look it up. Do the research. Nick Gonzalez for the R Pirates. Like uh, Walston, Christian Robinson. It's a good thing I have a lot of sleeves, huh? I think I've sleeved up more cards than I've not sleeved up at the moment. I think. It's hard to tell. I gotta be honest, it's hard to tell. Uh oh, another spacer. Another spacer. Give me space. There's a Cronenworth. I hope he's in series two. I feel like he should have had a rookie card last year. Just so you know, uh that is that corner is not amazing. Just I am sorry, Paco. It came out of the pack that way. And uh corner's not amazing on that one. There's a Camposano. Corner's not amazing on that one either. That doesn't make me happy. 
But there's a Cronenworth and Ucampusano. But like I said, the corners are not amazing, and I'm not sure why. Uh, there's an Acuna and a Bieber. Yelich, Sean Murphy, and there's a Luis Patino going to the Padres. I know he went to the uh, the Rays in the Blake Snell deal, but this one's going to the Padres because he's in the Padres uniform. So there you go. Number 26. In case you're wondering, the number one scout uh, Paco told me was Wander Franco. Robert Puasan or Puasan, I don't know. Uh, he signed in 2019 as a free agent. Like us go and do the athletics. Jackson Kowar, followed up by, uh, man, a lot of Royals, too. I don't know. Maybe, I guess, if you're, like, a terrible team for long enough, you just get a whole bunch of prospects. There's an Alex Manoa and a Tyler Callahan. So, once again, the pack with the spacer did not have... Um, uh... Anyway, like I said, you see, you see how I do it. I pull it immediately from the pack and throw it into a sleeve immediately. So, if it comes out with a bad corner, it is because it came out of the pack that way. Um, Sometimes that just happens. Um, unfortunately, like, let's be honest, some of the best pulls I've ever had have come out with bad corners, and it makes me just so angry and frustrated because it's so hard to get, like, something crazy to begin with. Nate Pearson. Uh, Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. That's just a regular paper rookie, but there's a uh, Goldschmidt, Bogarts. Hey, Josh Bell. Hey, Mookie Betts. Looks like we're going to have another prospect card, and it's going to be a Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. Anyway, there's a chrome of Emerson Hancock. So there you go. <laughs> You're getting some chromes in the Mariners now. Um, actually, off the top of my head, I don't know. Is there a first? Is there a first chrome of the of the Mariners to even get? But there's an Emerson Hancock. There's an Alec. I said I said Alex before, but it's Alec. Alec Manoa for a chrome for the Blue Jays. So Shaw gets that one. A uh, Frutus Nova. Jake Vogel. There's a first paper. First paper. Uh, for the Dodgers. And then Pete Crow Armstrong. I wonder if he's going to make pitchers eat crow. Huh? Look how young he is. Goodness gracious. Born in 2002. He's only 19 years old. I remember being 19. That was so long ago. That was like half my life ago. Half my life ago. Um, no first for the Mariners. Okay. I was wondering. I was like, I know you wanted, I know you picked the Mariners for a reason, but I was just like, I couldn't think off the top of my head. I think it's because you want to look at Kellenic parallel or something, but Kellenic or uh, Rodriguez. So the here's a Yastrzemski. There's a Bo Bichette. Bauer. It'll be interesting if you looked at the checklist, how many teams have first and how many don't. I think it's the majority. Over 15 do not, I think. There's a Jorge Soler. Jesus Sanchez. And Alex Kirilov. He should be in either series two or update. Some people are, I see people on the internet in videos and they're like, oh, they're, they're definitely. I'm like, really? Because the uh, the checklist hasn't been announced as far as I know. Um, Jose Garcia. Let's see. Not the. I know you're looking for Austin Martin. I know you are. I know you are. We're working on it. We're working on it, man. I'm working on everyone getting something. There's a Dylan Dingler. Dylan Dingler for the Tigers. So Paco transferred over from the Angels to the Tigers, and he's been getting some Tiger cards. There's a Jason Rosario for the Red Sox. The Red Sox. Uh, man, he signed for the Padres in 2016. Man, some of these people have been in the minors for a while. For a while. And uh, so nothing crazy in that pack, man. Anyway, time to get something crazy. Sorry, I'm just hearing noises in the background. I'm like, is it those are the voices in my head? Or is that like actually something? So I I'm I'm distracted. I think there's someone at the door. It's hard to tell. Chris Bryant. Santander. There's a Dalbeck. There's a Dalbeck. Sometimes when the voices in your head talk to you, you get confused. <laughs> Bobby Dalbeck. It's like sometimes in the videos when I'm recording, I'm like talking to myself about crying in the shower. And then uh, I caught myself saying, it. it's like, I don't know where you do. You're crying. <laughs> Maybe in the car. There's a Pache. There's a Kiebert Ruiz. Um, Kiebert Ruiz. Anyway, I don't talk about crying. There's a Taylor Trammell. So I don't know if Nathan cares if I mentioned this, but he entered another break and he didn't get his like a single Chrome and he got the Mariners. And this is the third Chrome 
that I have pulled for him so far on this one. Taylor Trammell, Kromaruski. So he will not be crying in the shower, at least not, not in the immediate future, in case you're wondering. There's a Shane Baz. Oh, man, it's a good thing I got a lot of sleeves. And there we go. That's the rest of that pack. We still have, I think, like five or six, um, five or six packs. And then we got a bunch more packs. Come on, autograph. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. So now he's going to coach the packs. Here's an Andres Jimenez as a Met. He is an Indian. He is splitting time, I think, with, uh, was it, Ahmed Rosario. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see the first Lindor card in, as a Met and the first Andres Jimenez card as a Indian. Got a Dylan Carlson for uh, the Cardinals. Cabrera. Come on, monster hit. Maybe we just needed to talk about the monster hit, and then um, and then it will come. There's a trout. There's a trout for the Angels. I don't know what that's worth. It's not like a parallel or anything. It's just a regular trout ruski. You can never go wrong getting a trout, though. You'd never go wrong fishing for a trout. Colton Welker. Actually, no, you could go wrong fishing for a trout if you don't catch one. Colton Welker and a Hunter Bishop. I feel like there's been a lot of, of – uh, yeah, that's why. There's been a lot of Colton Welker cards. He was drafted in 2016, so that explains it. I remember pulling him a bunch last year in last year's Bowman. Here's a Hunter Bishop. I've heard that name a bunch before, too. 2019. Dylan, uh, ding, 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 Dingler, Coar, and uh, I'll save up the old Heston, even though it's not his first. It's funny, in one picture, he looked like he was 10, and in this picture, his face makes him look like he's like an 85-year-old man. Um. Very odd. Very odd. Hit a grand slam today. First pool of the Dodge. Oh, or the first pool of the Dodger. Mount Castle, Mount Castle had a grand. Good for him, man. Give that guy a crown. I hope that the uh, I hope the announcer said give that guy a crown. There's a Patino. A regular Patino. So Paco, it looks like a I think there's only three Padres rookies in this set. I think you got you've gotten all three now. Um, and then you got that insert. There's a regular trout. Uh, not like a rainbow trout, for example. Donaldson, Aaron Nola. Uh, there is an Evan White Rookie of the Year favorite card. That's got a cool looking shine to it. I gotta say, I have to say that's got a cool looking shine to it. There you go, Chrome Rookie of the Year. I say Chrome Rookie of the Year, but the Rookie of the Year cards are all Chrome. Shea Langliers for the Atlanta Braves. Oh, hello, another New York. Another New York card. Man, it's a big old Alcantara box. Here's the first Bowman Chrome of Kevin Alcantara. There you go, Yankees. Yankees. Nick Allen, a Jordan Walker, and a Bo Naylor. I think I've saved up more cards than I have not saved up at this point. Um, three in the base set and four in the answers. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. We still got a bunch of packs left to go. Like I said, there's 24 in this box. I haven't counted, but there's still um, there's still stuff. There's a U Darvish. That's like the second or third time we pulled that bad boy. There's a Tarek Scooble. Work on that screwball, Clark Schmidt. So I don't have the collation quite down on this one. Like series one, I could I had the collation kind of down with rookies, but it does seem like Scooble, Schmidt, and McKenzie like hanging out with each other. Straight off the collation machine. And Ian Anderson likes to join. So if you like getting four pitcher cards in a row, then uh, we got a first Bowman Chrome coming up for sure because I just spoiled it. It looks like this whole collation is like the, you get like six rookies right out of the gate. There's the Madrigal. And then there's the Crochet. Man, I'm going to go, we're going to burn through like two entire packs of sleeves in this one break, I think. All right. So look at that. First Bowman Chrome of Nick Abel. I don't know if you got that one yet. Um, but Mick Abel for the Philadelphia Phillies first Bowman Chrome. And then we have a, uh, Ed Howard, not first anything. I don't know if it's second or third set. Oh, he was drafted. Uh, he must be in draft because, uh, it says here Cubs round one, 2020 16th overall. So he must've been in draft, but, uh, so that must be a second card ever. There's a Jessen Rosario. There's a regular Alcantara. Holy smokes. It really is like the Alcantara box. 
And then there's a George Kirby. All right, so there's that. Woo! If you get a Sabato, Austin Martin is next. There you go. Okay. Always need more sleeves. Uh, Ed Howard is nice. He was in 2020 draft. Yeah. I can't keep track of everything, man. I got to keep track of like stuff in my life. Um, I got to keep track of trying to like figure out how to sell like 99% of my cards so that I can like pay for stuff. <laughs> for stuff. Joey Gallo. Um, Vlad Guerrero. Luis Robert. Freddie Freeman, Tanner Houck for the Boston Red Sox. Here's a Sam Huff. Where is the Austin Martin hiding, by the way? If we go through the whole box and not pull that, that would be, like, insane. Sam Huff. Or maybe he's just... Oh, we haven't gotten a Blaze Jordan yet, either. Dalton Verso. Reed Detmers. How have we not gotten Blaze Jordan or, uh, or Austin? Old Austin buddy. So Reed Detmers... Bryce Turang. Man, he's got a lot of eye black. He picks up like half of his, picks up his entire cheek. Bryce, you know, maybe maybe a little too heavy on the old eye black, buddy. Maybe a little too heavy. Forrest Whitley, Brennan Davis. What do we got? He's uh, 2018 and a Logan Davidson. So there you go. Uh, what do we got? Let me pull out the rest of the packs. This is what we got left in case you are curious. Pull them right out of the box. So you know there's no money. Much too money. There's no monkey. Monkey business. But that's, uh, there's the rest of your empty box. In case you're wondering. Um, it says here, it seems like a box always have one player you get five cards of. I said, uh, oh, I might cry. You might cry. Um, only reason I knew it was in drafts is because of a big Cubs fan like you. Know. Well, Shaw, I know you went big. And so I'm hoping, I'm rooting for you, buddy. Because I know you went big. Trust me, I don't want anyone. Um, Mike, the uh, we got a Alcantara out of three ninety nine. Is yeah, it's funny. We've only gotten one numbered card so far. I mean, you're not guaranteed numbered cards or anything, but the fact that we've only gotten one of them. I mean, this box. I keep. I know I keep saying, but this box wasn't cheap. It's not like it was twenty bucks. It was not twenty dollars. Breaking news: It was significantly more than twenty dollars. <laughs> Honestly, a blaster box is more than twenty bucks. Blaster boxes are twenty five now plus tax. People always say it's like 25. No, it's like 25 plus tax. That's like another uh, 260. There's a Joe Adele. I mean, if you're in California like I am, it's another 260. So it comes to like what, 27, 28? Oh, math. Math. Ugh. Joe Adele. Uh, rookie of the year favorite. Can you win rookie of the year if you're in the minor leagues, though? Not to burn the guy. I mean, he's a professional baseball player, and I am not. But um, there is a Nick Lofton. By the way, when did the, uh, when did the sliding glove just become so prevalent. I remember when I was watching baseball, they didn't even have sliding gloves. And now it seems like everyone's got one. Byron, Byron, Laura, he was in, was he in draft? I think he was in draft. I think so. Um, what was $21? Only way to play is all in. Only way to play is all in. Well, we have, there better be two parallel cards and an autograph in here and a one of one There better be a one of one You hear me, universe? People paid money for this break. Don't make me add bonus content to this break to make people make people uh, get their money's worth. I mean, I'll do it. I'll add bonus content, but I don't want to. It's not like I enjoy doing it, throwing it in. Weirdly, I get an employee discount on the value packs of Bowman and not the blaster. Well, that's very strange. Trevor Bauer. Well, honestly, if you get a blaster, though, it's worth paying full price for. I say that, but like, if you get garbage and it's like a dumpster fire of a blaster, then don't come and don't come knocking on my door. Um, Go to old Bowman headquarters, which is also officially Topps headquarters. Which, by the way, it seems like a lot of their stuff um, is in Scranton, but then a lot of their stuff is in New York City. So, anyway. We're not going to go Blazeless, because there is a Blaze Jordan futurist. We're feeling the Blaze, at least a little bit. Oh, we got something. All right. Before I pull the card, you guys all have different teams, as you know. So you guys quietly or very vocally tell tell the universe what you want this green card to be. I, uh, I'll imagine, but we'll see. I'll sleeve up this Heston, and we will see what this green card is be. Well, is be, and it's a chrome for sure. So Heston, there's a Christian Robinson. Did anyone say, was anyone's guess going to be Christian Robinson out of 99? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. But uh, it is a Christian Robinson out of 99. Nine, that is 
Thick. That is a thick card. I'm, I'm pretty sure nothing against Christian, but I don't think anyone was going to guess Christian Robinson out of 99. Um, but anyone want to look up what that goes for? It is it is just a prospect card. Um, not even like a first or anything, but let me put it in the old top loader. Immediately. Get in there. Get in there, buddy. So uh, Christian Robinson. Out of 99. And then we have a Jeremy De La Rosa. Egg with 5,000 subs. I got to ask you, Egg, are you up to 40,000 or 50,000 now? Um, I know you weren't going to change your name. There's a Wander Franco. Uh, I know you weren't going to change your name because it was rolling for you. Um, but then you said they're going to increase all the retail prices by 50%. Um, 50%. I don't know why I'm sleeping up the Wander. It's not even like a, a chrome rating. We still have four packs. We can get an autograph. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't checked out Egg with 5,000 subs, go check them out as well. Go subscribe to each other if you want. Um, if you guys, like, uh, there's some people who don't do this, but I don't care. If you guys want to mention your channel and go get subscribers, go do it, man. Go do it. Um, I will be here opening baseball cards, but yeah. You let me know if you want more subscribers. Let's see. I mean, I uh, Don't Talk to Robots got into a break, and we got him up to, I think it was 200 on the break. If you guys each got like 10, 15 subs or whatever, um, Dylan Carlson. Yeah, I'm not loving the increase in price, but you know what? If it means that cards are more readily available, um, then I would not be opposed to that. Blake Snow. There's an Adley. There's an Adley. Rushman, Rushman, however we're pronouncing it these days. I admit it. I freely admit that I don't know how to do stuff sometimes. I don't know how to do a lot. Like, I don't know how to make tons of money. If anyone wants to show me how to make tons of money, please let me know. Um, Adley for the Orioles. So you know what, Shaw, you have the Orioles. Yeah, you know what, you haven't gotten the Austin, you haven't gotten the Austin uh, Martin, but you've gotten a whole bunch of other kind of cool stuff. Here's a George Kirby. There's another Chrome for you, Nathan. There's another one. There's a Carson Tucker for the Indians. What I miss? Um, you know, I had the 2019 Panini A card. Oh, is that the one that's worth a ton of money? The one that's worth like thousands of dollars or something like that. Anyway, Michael. Taglia, Nick Bitsko, and a Casey Martin. Ooh, he was the Phillies round three. So he must have been in draft then, too. He must have. Ginter. Ginter. There's no LCS near me, and they don't sell retail. Man, Paco, I feel bad for you, man. Um, I feel bad for you. Yeah, I mean, I would suggest... There's a couple suggestions. Uh... Most of these are well known, so it's not like I'm spoiling it. Man, this pack! Oh, someone did something in this pack because the corners are garbage. Let's hope there's nothing crazy in this pack because the corners are not good. Uh, yeah, Big Lots, Rite Aid, Walgreens, Barnes and Noble, um, CVS sometimes, Dollar Tree. Those are all places to check out. Michaels, Hobby Lobby. I mean, I, I, a while ago, I would say it's secret, and I'm not going to like talk about it, but let's be honest. The, the word's out on those places. Uh, there's a Joe Adele with a bad corner. Here's a Joe Adele with a bad corner. The good thing about bad corner cards is that when it's a chrome pack, the chrome cards are usually in, in solid shape. Here's an Asa Lacey. I don't know. Is it, is it, is it an Asa Lacey or an Asa? I keep saying Asa. Here's a Jose Tana, first Bowman chrome. Jason Dominguez, chrome Maruski. You should see this. I'm going to put it on screen. You should see the stack of sleeved cards I have. It's got it's gotten filthy at this point. It's gotten so big that I don't know that I want to do a recap because there's just so many sleeved cards. Um, wrong, Martin. Other teams have just hit the Jays. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um, Shaw, I could add up all the stuff you have. There's just a regular Bollywood. I could add up all the stuff you've gotten. Um, I don't know. But you did win the... Uh, let me see. Yeah, you won the uh, the first chase thing. So you got a bunch of stuff coming your way. Oh, no, it's a spacer. Is this going to be the spacer time where we get an autograph? Is this going to be like the retail box that doesn't have an autograph? Because they're not guaranteed. If it is, then I want my, my fictional money. Well, it's not really fictional money, but I want my money back. Luis Garcia. Sixto Sanchez. Gotten two numbered cards. Usually I see like three numbered cards in an autograph out of these retail display boxes. So Sixto Sanchez. Pulled a couple of Sixtos. Got a Jordan, a Logan Gilbert, um, number 40 on the prospect list. We have a Riley Green for the Detroit Tigers. So I think Paco is probably uh, 
happy that he switched from the Angels to the Tigers because he's gotten a number of Chrome cards. And there's a Justin Foscue for uh, for the Texas Rangers. No one bought that. You know what we haven't got? We haven't got a Maximo Acosta or a Blaze or an Austin Martin. Um, there's you know there's two there's two different Luis Garcias and they're both in the same division. One is playing for uh, the Nationals. And the other one is playing for the Phillies. So this is the last pack. But it's not the last pack because I feel like uh, this box has let us down. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some more bonus bonus stuff in the back. And we'll keep the break going. But let's see. Can we pull the Austin Martin at least? At least the paper, much less the uh, chrome, for goodness sakes. And the Blaze Jordan and the uh, Maximo and the Mercedes and an autograph, for goodness sakes. So we got a Brady Singer. I know I keep saying autograph, but like it's not guaranteed, but still, I mean, every retail box I've seen has had one. Brady Singer, Alec Baum. Jeez, I've seen people pull autographs out of like value packs and blaster boxes. I'm, I'm wondering, why did they not do hanger boxes of this stuff? Juan Soto. That's like the first Soto base I think we pulled. Never found baseball cards at the random retail stores. Supposedly they're out there. I have, I used to find them pretty regularly. There's a Royce Lewis. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go on a limb and say this is not a good box. Um, I know it's not really going on a limb. There's a Royce Lewis. But uh, we did get a whole bunch of cards and stuff. But I'll put it this way. When I when I feel the need to run in the back and get some bonus packs to open for you guys, it, that means it was not It was not up to it. There's, a, there's at least one Austin Martin. First Bowman. We didn't get a Blaze. We didn't get a, uh, a Sabato. We didn't get a uh, Cespedes. But there it is. We got... One Austin Martin, paper, paper. I'll put it in the top over there. Uh, Tristan Casas, and then normally will be the last card of the break, but it is not going to be the last card because, like I said, I'm going to get some other stuff. We didn't get, we didn't get an auto. All right, so give me. Um, see, Coles is supposed to have cards. Never seen them there, but then was also in the Panini interview. You know what I noticed? Sometimes CBS gets stuff, and then it doesn't get it around me. Other places. Uh, here we go. I am going to get a couple of things in the back. Add him to the break for free. So I'll give you a second. Bear. Bear. All right, if this is the first time you've ever watched one of my breaks, uh, whenever I feel that people didn't get their money's worth, I go in the back. Uh, I go in the back and I pull some extra stuff just so uh, I feel like you get another shot. So this time... One hanger box, series one, one blaster box of opening day. Uh, you guys already paid. It's all, this is just bonus, just so you guys, I feel like you guys got your value out of it. Let's hope, let's hope we can get you some cool stuff. Uh, obviously, I can't guarantee anything. If I could guarantee stuff, I would have guaranteed something in that Bowman box or that Leaf, that Leaf box. Don't get me wrong, we did get six autographs in that Leaf box, but none of them were Bobby Wood Jr. or Jason Dominguez or. The Jung was probably the best pull. So here's your uh, opening day. And then we got the one thing of uh, of Series 1. As you can see, wouldn't it be crazy if in one of the bonuses here that uh, we pulled an autograph that we didn't get in Bowman? I mean, obviously, we wouldn't get a Bowman autograph because it would be... You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, one... I feel like I got to say it now. One pack away from greatness. And uh, I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull... Um, let's pull some autograph fire. All right, let's do it. Um, come on, Mariners mascot, whatever that is. Isn't it, uh, is, is the Mariners, is that a moose? I think it, for some reason, it's telling me it's a moose. Um, I'm not quite sure why I feel that way. Maybe I've seen the card. But here's uh, Daniel Johnson for the Indians. Like I said, this is bonus territory. Uh, let me put the top loaded cards over here to make room. We have a Jack Peterson. Be interesting to see him in a, in a Cubs, Cubs uniform card. Mr. Red. There's a there's a baum a bonus baum 
No, but part of it it's cool. Like the uh, the uh, mascot stuff's cool. But those like dirt relic or like a dual dirt relic. I think like, there was one that was like Acuna and Soto or something like that. And it was it was cool. There's a bomb. Um, see you later, Sticks. Um, you are awesome, Sticks. Oh, by the way, uh, he's leaving. But Ghost uh, Sticks has a giveaway that he's running with Bmax Breaks, and uh, go check it out because it's free. And who doesn't like free stuff? Uh, or Rosarena? There's a Mount Castle, man. It's a uh, bonus territory is already uh, starting to pay off a little bit. We got Mount Castle there. Let's see, um, sticks. Uh, Pulled a postseason performer jersey out of. Good job, man. Postseason performer at a 25. There's a Cal Ripken, Glaber, Miguel Rojas, and a Canha. Um, yeah, but go check out Sticks G and his giveaway and B Max Breaks' his giveaway. They are both at the 300 mark. Corey Seager, speaking of Corey Seager, who's hurt? Who's hurt, unfortunately? I always think these are going to be something big, and then it's just like an insert card. And it's just an insert card. So that was a whole lot of nothing in that pack. That was a whole lot of nothing in that pack. You ever go to the store, and there's like a one-item limit, and they have like a, a random display box of uh, opening day, and you're like, I can only get one pack? Really? I came all the way to this store so I could buy one pack of opening day. Uh, there's a Brady Singer. <laughs> or oh, I went I went to the store yesterday because they're they're not selling uh, Pokemon and baseball and basketball and football, but they're still selling some other stuff. So there's tons of magic cards, of course. Tons of magic. Apparently there must not be anything amazing you can pull out of magic, or maybe there is, and I just don't know. But uh the magic does not sell out. But there was like random random value packs of hockey. Don't get me wrong, hockey I love, I love hockey. But the young guns are one in every four value packs. And the Young Guns list is like 100 cards or 50 or something. It's like ridiculously hard to pull anything amazing. Especially if you can only get like one pack. There's the uh, Paws, the wearing a mask, the Tigers mascot. And uh, there is Edward Olivares. Like I said, before before I sign off, uh, I'll, I got a cool announcement. Um, I'm not dissing hockey. I'm dissing upper deck for making. Oh, we, we got a blue foil, foil card. I'm dissing upper deck for making it so hard to pull anything cool. Um, it's hard, man. The reason I like baseball is even though it's like you're not probably not going to pull a thousand dollar card, like you can pull something cool. Anyway, who's this going to be? Who's going to be, guys? You guys think think of a name. You don't have to put it in the comments, but think of who you want it to be, and then we'll find out if you were correct. Oh <gasps> no way! In bonus. In bonus territory, we pull a Ryan Mountcastle blue foil. I could have kept this blaster to myself and gotten it, but nope. I added it to the bonus, and uh, Shaw, you have the Orioles. Congratulations. You are uh, the proud or shameful owner, whatever. I'm sure you're probably proud of it. Proud owner of a Ryan Mountcastle blue foil rookie card. Congratulations. That is why I do the bonus. Boom! I didn't get you an Austin Martin Chrome, but you do have this. You do have this super cool looking blue foil. These are hard, man. I gotta tell you, they are hard. Um, I opened. Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, the box is on the floor. Let me see what it is. The odds. I hate looking at odds because it's. Uh, they're so small. Printing plate is one in four hundred four thousand packs. Autograph is thirty nine thousand packs. Uh, where's the blue foil? Mm, where are you? I give up. See, this is why I can't ever find it when I'm looking for it. But yeah, it's not easy. Um, it's not easy pulling those blue foils, and especially if someone good. I pulled some blue foils, and it's, I mean, they're not like garbage players, but they're not. Let's be honest. There's no such thing as a garbage player. These people play professional baseball. And I sit at my kitchen table and try to keep my cats from jumping on the... Uh, I thought that was going to be something special, and it was definitely not. It was just a regular insert card. Castellanos. Castellanos. And we still have a hanger box that I added in as a bonus. Maybe we'll get something out of there. Luis Garcia. I know that they say them's the breaks, or they say dem's the breaks, but, uh, you know, Edwin Rios, his season ended quickly, unfortunately. Man, it seems like half the Dodgers roster ended. Uh, Bobby Dalbeck, they had Bellinger down, and a Seager down, and Rios down, and a uh, but then they picked up a pools and they picked up a Susugo. Susugo. 
I guess people don't like bonus stuff because we lost some people. We were at like 12 people at one point and we're down to like nine. I must have offended someone by doing some terrible impression. I offended people. Here is uh, the athletic mascot. Is it just called mascot? I know the Blue Jays mascot um, is just called mascot. I think it used to, I think uh, I think it was Shaw who said it, was, it used to be called BJ, and then uh, they wisely they wisely discovered that that was a big mistake. We got two more of these, and then we have a. Uh... What are you guys? What are you guys doing? Um. All of a sudden, the chat is just like weird stuff's going on. What is happening? Why is why was there just like four different, eight, five different messages in a row that have been like hidden or unhidden or something? Anyway, Castellani, Babe Ruth. I'm so confused. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. I don't know what it is, but uh, that's okay. Uh, see, look, we're, it looks like we're only going to get one blue foil in this entire blaster box. I think I've opened an entire blaster box before and not gotten a blue foil. So that Mount Castle, give that dude a crown. There's a, okay. So nothing like other than the blue foil, but we do have a hanger box. What are you doing, RJ? Are you blocking people? I gave you the wrench because you're responsible. RJ, is it you? Is it you that's, that's blocking people? What are you doing? <laughs> the wheels have officially come up. Anyway, uh, now would be the time to pull that one of one out of like. Oh, by the way, I just got to say this. This is bonus ter territory, so I'm just going to say it. You guys all have teams. If I pull a 70th anniversary ticket, I am keeping it for myself because it is not affiliated with the baseball team. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that if we do beat the 173,000 to one odds and pull up uh, an anniversary ticket, I am keeping it. If it had been affiliated with the team, you guys could have it, but. Oh, you're hitting buttons by mistake. You're half asleep. RJ, you got to get more sleep, man. Nathan's our resident, I don't sleep very much guy. I don't know if Nathan's still here. Maybe, maybe I offended him. Maybe I had to go to bed. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe my, maybe my shocking lack of uh, amazing Mariners polls. Oh God, there's enough landscaping cards to start a gardening company. Oh, too many. Well, to be fair, the odds are only, honestly, 173,000 to one. You could almost win. Um, we have a five number and a six number lottery here in California. Obviously, the six number lottery is like 42 million to one or something. It's like, but the uh, five number lottery is like 500,000 to one. So... And it's only a dollar, so for a ticket, as opposed to eleven ninety nine. We do have an Alvarez, by the way, and we do have a Stevenson, and now we have a Mize. So there we go, bonus territory. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to do a full recap, but I will do a recap of just what we got in bonus land. So because it makes me feel better. Like I know you guys know this. Like everything's a gamble in the in the pack world, but um, you know, I've entered breaks before and gotten. I've entered breaks and done really well, really well, really, really, really well. And I've done enter breaks before and I've done really, really poorly. And so I feel bad when people... Adam's card closet is here. Uh, both cats are asleep, man. They're asleep in different rooms and it's been peaceful. Adam's card closet is awesome. Uh, go check him out. Uh, I like to call him Adam's card mansion. I still think that he and Rob Hirsch should do a top 100 card face-off because they both have Trout rookies. I think they both have... You both have Kobe rookies, I think. And do you, do you, both, have, do you both have LeBron rookies too? I'm not sure, but I think you both have all three of those. Which is, do you both have MJ rookies too? I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a Patino. But go subscribe to Adam. He's cool. I hope you're doing well, Adam. Do you, uh, is everything, uh, is all the health stuff getting better? Squaring away? No worries, you had fun. All right. Well, we're not, it's not over yet. We still have left, something left in this hanger box. I just got you a bonus Patino. Oh, you have all those. you have all those. Okay, good for you, man. Are they graded or are they just raw? I was watching this card show video and like this guy had like like a ninety thousand dollar transaction or something ridiculous. Like, but it was all graded. It wasn't it wasn't raw stuff. There's a Bubik for the barbecue sauce Royals. 
I don't know if NW is still here if I offended him to the point where he left. But I wonder, do they is it is the minor league team the barbecue sauces? The fighting barbecue sauce? The fighting sauce. <laughs> Bo Burrows. The fighting sauce. BBQ. They should have like the world's best barbecue at the minor league affiliate. So we got a chrome, chrome, uh, chrome Yelich. Chrome Yelich. Would have been better if it was a like chrome baum. And we got a Cabrera. A Jordan Alvarez, a Buster, a Joey Bart rookie. All right, and it's a we have a die cut. I've seen, by the way, online there ha it is possible to get an autographed die cut, and all the die cut players are they're they're not all Hall of Fame, but they're all famous. Um, wouldn't it be cool if we pulled an autographed die cut? We did not. Oh, wouldn't it have been great if it was a Johnny Bench autograph? But it was not. Um, just a regular, just a regular bench. Okay. So that's it for the bonus. But I will say this before we go. If you like Breaks and you like Bowman and you like Leaf, I'm going to go off the air. 10 to 15 minutes after I go off the air, you should hit the refresh on my channel. Um, I'm not going to tell you why, but you should. I'm just telling you, you should. Uh, also, like I said, I'm taking a break next week because of Memorial Day. Not really because of Memorial Day, but because uh, I'm doing a card show. And so there will, if they're uh, after this weekend, there will not be another break um, for two weeks. But like I said, check my channel out in about um, ten to fifteen minutes after we go up. I'm only going to do the, I'm only going to do the uh, top loaded cards because I will show you this though. These are sleeved. This is the bonus stuff, just from the two things. Let me go through it again. Because you know what? Actually, I got to go through it all because some people are only going to only going to watch the end and I don't want to I don't want to make them watch an hour and 11 minutes. So let's go through them. I'll make it quick though cuz they can they can um they can go at, uh eh. they can get me at their own pace is what I mean. So I'm not going to name them all off but I will scroll through them cuz I know truck driver wasn't here for this. I don't know if Lance has been here the whole time and if he's just silent but violent. Um who else? Julie, I'm not sure if it's st is still with us. But anyway, like I said, you want the hit package at the end. Because you know what? Sometimes I'm watching a video and I'm like, I don't have three hours. I don't have an hour and a half. I just want to see the hits. I admit it. Some people don't like that. But you know what? Not everyone's got like an hour and a half. Sometimes you got like five minutes before you have to like go to the bathroom and you're like, I want to see what I can get out of my five minutes. Man, that got that got so random. That got so random in a hurry. You could imagine what it's like to, to be my wife, where it's just like I start a sentence and you don't know how it's gonna end. It could go either way. It could go like ten different ways. <laughs> I could just imagine if you just fast forwarded to like the last ten minutes of this entire break and you just hear me like make like a random bathroom joke. And you're like, what is going on? Have the wheels come off? My response to that be would be, have the wheels ever been on this vehicle? To begin with, as you can see, I probably, without exaggeration, sleeved up over 200 cards. So there's 30 teams, so each of you are probably going to be receiving at least eight sleeved cards, and then a whole bunch of like raw, unsleeved stuff. Like I said, we're going to go through the uh, top-loaded cards in a minute. As I'm blazing through this at like lightning speed, but as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of sleeved up stuff. Here we go. Top loaded cards: Ryan Mountcastle, blue foil rookie card opening day. Josh Jung, autograph out of ten. Taglia autograph. Henry autograph out of fifty. Lugo just plain autograph. Ethan Hearn autograph out of five. Man, out of five. Reese Hines auto. Christian Robinson. Uh, green out of 99 and an Alcantara first out of 399. So like I said, thank you for being with me. If you do like breaks and stuff like that, um, I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to upload a video. and I'm going to get off the air. I'm going to upload the video immediately. So within five or 10 minutes, it'll be uh, available. Anyway, thank you so much and uh, have a great day. And I'll probably be hearing from you soon. If not, uh, I will pack, pack, pack stuff up. Anyway, uh, like I said, refresh in about five or 10 minutes. Okay, bye.